Welcome to Survival on a Budget Made Easy. We're back in the garden, and this time it's for planting. If you want to learn more about it, I'll be right back. Welcome back to Survival on a Budget Made Easy. Like I said, we're up to the planting stages of the garden. And also got my shake and feed, fertilizer. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, I got a variety of plants this year. I got tomato plant, a couple peppers. I got Brussels sprouts. I never grew Brussels sprouts before, so it should be interesting. Now, I'm only going to try to stick a tomato plant in the tire by itself because I know they bush out. And I'm putting the tomato plant in back of the garden. When I say the back of the garden, I'm going from sunrise to sunset. So at sunset, the sun will be behind the tomato plant and casting shade on the smaller plants. I don't want it to be blocking the sunlight coming on to the smaller plants during the daytime. As I go through, I'm going to go ahead and adjust the hose. I'm going to use a tomato cage and a stake. I learned over time with tomato cages, they help contain the tomato, but over time they just get leaned over and bent out of shape. So I also started using stakes with them. The cage keeps the tomato plant consolidated and the stake keeps the tomato plant standing up. Now I got a bunch of different colored stakes, no particular reason, just because they had a bunch of different colors and I wanted a bunch of different colors. Hammer it down a bit, we'll go ahead and move on to our other plants. Okay, to sum everything up, what I did was I stuck the pepper plants in the front. I stuck the kale in the back. Kale gets pretty tall. I stuck two, piece, uh, two plants of kale in one of the tires and spread the other two out. And in the very center of where the four tires meet, I stuck the Brussels sprouts because, well, Brussels sprouts get tall like tomato plants. The shake and feed, you really don't have to worry about over fertilizing it. It dissolves slowly on its own, so don't be afraid to use it. Now what I'm going to do is maybe do like a, a Sunday quickie video on garden updates instead of making videos through the week. Just so you can watch the progress of the garden. Okay, with all that said, do me a favor, click on that subscribe button. It really does help me out. And as always... Thank you for watching.